Aries, what's going on with you? So Aries, tell me, how does it feel to treat me like you do when you lay your hands upon me? <laughs> you guys know that song? You guys are like, what? What are you guys talking about? This is going to be your mid-month reading, ladies and gents. Let me put this phone on silent because we already know I'm in high demand and that shit blows up. Let's see what's going on with the Aries, ladies and gents. This is going to be a mid-month reading for the collective of the Aryans. Let's jump into it. <clears throat> Let's get three more shuffles. What's going on with the Aryan race? The Aryan. The Aries. Those ruled by Mars. What's going on with those Aryans in their love life? This is going to be a love reading mid-month. September to the end of September. Let's look at the overall energies. Shall we, Aries? Two of Swords. This is an element of perplexity. The Ace of Sh Ace of Coins. This is good. So this means that, you know, the Ace of Cups. We got three ones, ladies and gents. Mind you, the Wheel of Fortune is card number 10. One plus zero equals one. To me, that's an Ace. All right? Look at this. Ace of, Ace of Coins. Ace of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. All right? Again, the Wheel of Fortune is a new beginning. This is what I'm seeing here. Wow. Aries, Aries, Aries. If you've been in an element of stagnancy here, hindering a new beginning, hindering some sort of relinquishment of a burden, are you possibly been losing sleep over a situation, Nine of Wands or Nine of Swords? I, I really feel as if you've been dealing with something that you've been hindering, some sort of baggage that you've been holding on to. I feel that that is what's shifting, ladies and gents. Wow, Aries, what amazing energy. What amazing energy. Let's tune in, ladies and gents. I can't wait to read for you. We got the lovers here at the bottom of the deck. I hope this is new love. What's going on here? This, this is a love reading after all, so let's tune in. Aries, what's going on here? What's with this Ace of Coins, ladies and gentlemen? The Star card. All right, so what I'm seeing here with the Ace of Coins here is that you've been healing with something. You've been healing. You've been healing or you've been, you know, trying to find some sort of balance in a situation, Aries. And, well, it seems like you've attained it. King of Cups. Now, this could be you. This could be a person that's coming towards you. Here we go. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what to expect. All right? I got a, I got a state-of-the-art camera here, but because it's dark, and, it's, and I put it on eye recognition, when I put this in front of me, it starts to scan everywhere but the damn card. All right? So if it's out of focus, just bear with me. What I'm saying here is that I'm seeing emotional healing. All right, and this could be you, or this could be an individual that's coming towards you. Let's see, we got the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, ladies and gents. Tell me more about this Ace of Coins. What's going on with this Ace of Coins for Aries? What's going on here with this Ace of Coins for Aries? The Queen of Coins. Mmm, this is a partnership here, ladies and gents. There's some, a new beginning happening here in a relationship. That is what I'm seeing here. All right, this is a, pra a practical offer coming forward, Aries. This is a practical offer coming your way. Now, I'm going to trip out. No, I was going to say I'm going to trip out if there's going to be another court card because if, if that was the case, then I'd say you got multiple suitors coming your way, but I didn't get that. This is a relationship that's been existent. All right, Six of Cups. This is a relationship that you've dealt with. In the past, Aries, and it seems as if it's coming back around. A relationship from the past, that's the theme. Alright? So if you want new love, I don't think this is your reading, buddy. I don't think this is your reading, alright? So let's see what's going on here with the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> what's going on here with the Ace of Cups? Ooh, Queen of Swords wants to fly out. Communication, somebody expressing feelings. What's going on here with the Ace of Cups? What's with the Ace of Cups? Why is the Ace of Cups here? The judgments. Yeah, somebody's expressing their feelings. I think it's this King of Cups. All right, so they're expressing their feelings. They're coming forward with this energy of the Phoenix, wanting to rise from their own ashes, wanting to rise a situation from its ashes. Okay, buddy. All right. So, so I see reconciliation. This is a reconciliation video. So if you're not trying to reconcile with someone, just leave now. This is it for you. This reading is it for you. This is a reconciliation video. All right. The Queen of Swords appeared once again. All right. So let's hear. Let's, let's talk about the Queen of Swords. What's, what's going on with this Queen of Swords? The Tower bringing massive shift, massive change here. 
So this Queen of Swords is coming forward, communicating something, Aries, that is going to bring a massive shift. It's going to be a paradigm shifter, in other words. I feel that this is going to move towards rebuilding. What's being communicated? What does this Queen of Swords want? What is what's going on here? The Queen of the Queen of Swords seems to be someone that's been fixed on a relationship and is now finally coming forward seeking to fulfill their desire. All right? Their desire for happiness. So this could be you or this could be someone, but it seems as if, you know, there could have been an element of separation here with the with the with the goddamn devil. All right? We got the strength card here. This is all about refraining from giving into some sort of impulse. So giving into some sort of action, right? And I feel that this Queen of Swords is coming forward, communicating something here with the with the tower that's just gonna be the catalyst to this Ace of Cups, to this judgment, this rebirth, to the sun, which is happiness. Okay, wow. It looks good, Aries. It looks good. Fascinating. Fascinating. Let's see what's going on here with the Wheel of Fortune. What's going on here with the Wheel of Fortune? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? All right, the Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords. Hmm, somebody's stressed out about the situation. Yeah, the past is returning, and the past is Five of Swords is associated with a massive defeat. Let me show you the energy that I'm seeing here. All right, Eight. So this is a tower. I mean, straight up. I don't know what happened here in the past, ladies and gents, but it looks quite devastating. Something happened here. Someone's heart was broken. And this is all linked to the past, all right? I feel that, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is spinning. There's a, tur there's a potential turn of events here in this situation. At least that's what, the, that's what the potential is. But someone here is stressed the hell out about it. Someone here is stressed the hell out about this. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. What's going on with this Wheel of Fortune? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Somebody's a bit defensive. Somebody here is a bit hesitant in giving this a chance all right they're still holding on to something here look at this two of wands ten of wands aries what's going on here what's going on here ladies and gents someone here's a bit i mean there's a bunch of new opportunities coming and someone's a bit dubious all right i'm not saying that they aren't going to accept it but they are a bit hesitant due to the past that has existed in this situation. What is Aries' energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? What is Aries' energy towards whomever it is that they are dealing with? <clears throat> Let's see. The temperance. This is all about healing, ladies and gents. I feel that you're in the process of healing from a situation. You yourself are undergoing your own rebirth, all right? I feel that you've definitely attained some sort of growth from the situation, flat out. The judgment to the emperor. You learn some lessons through this situation. I feel that you're moving towards your power. You're moving towards your elements. You're moving towards your groundedness, Aries. What's this? The emperor. Cool. All right. Tell me more about Aries' energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with. The ten of wands came out flying. So you're still stressed out about someone here, Aries. I feel that you're holding on to a burden. Two of swords is what I just saw. You're still holding on to a burden when it comes to an individual, Aries. That is what I'm seeing here. Tell me more about Aries' energy for whomever it is that they're dealing with. <clears throat> I should get comfortable. It's like, I, I'm looking at myself. This shit's out of line. It's like, I kid you not. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give you guys a behind the scenes. I literally, I'm in pajamas all day long. And then I'm going to do these readings and I fucking put on a shirt. I put on a shirt. So, <clears throat> yeah. Put on a shirt and sometimes I just literally put it on. And then I jump straight in, and now I'm like, oh, fuck, I need to fix this. But it's too late. I'm too deep into this good reading to redo it. You know what I mean? So who gives a shit? Who gives a shit, ladies and gents? So what I am seeing is that there's an element of stress here on your end when it comes to this individual, Aries. All right. <clears throat> Four of Cups. Damn, you are definitely disillusioned by this. Someone here completely disenchanted you, Aries. And you're on the fence about this. I don't know. I don't think you got a, a fucking clear path in regards to this situation. Excuse my French. I know there's a bunch of Tinkerbells that get offended with, with profane language, right? So excuse me, my dear Tinkerbells. So what I'm seeing is that Aries is very disillusioned. All right, disenchanted. 
I mean, do I have to continue? Aries is just not seeing somebody in the best of light. What do we got at the bottom of the deck? King of Swords. Yeah, Aries, I feel that you're a bit dubious about opening up. I feel that your guard is up. I feel that you got someone coming towards you, given that double ace. And then that Wheel of Fortune was, you know, a sense of refraining and giving time to the, or just, you know, being a bit defensive is what I'm seeing here on your end. I mean, you're clearly sad about something, Aries. You went through something quite sad and you're still holding on to this burden here. Yeah, I feel that Aries is going to need time to heal this, to turn this perspective around in their own mind. Look, the devil is staring at me right there. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Whomever it is that Aries is dealing with, whomever it is that Aries is dealing with, what is their energy towards Aries? Whomever it is that Aries is dealing with, what is their energy towards Aries? The two of coins. Hmm. So, what is this individual juggling? What's, what's going on with this? Why is, why is this here? All right, so this individual is definitely trying to come forward and bring an element of balance to this situation. There's something here that this person isn't communicating, which I want to look deeper into. But let's let's continue to get some more energy here. Tell us more about this individual here. The Three of Wands. Interesting. <clears throat> so I'm getting... All right, this is what I'm seeing here. This individual, as of now, I feel this person here is juggling the idea of coming forward and communicating or waiting it out. Waiting for you to come to them. Nevertheless, at this point, they're having some major realizations. Mind you, there's a lot of uh, hermit energy, right? A lot of introspection. Look at this. We got the Six of Cups. So this is them reminiscing of the past in this hermit energy. And through the process of this, they're having a sense of rebirth. Or they're just looking at things through a different lens. All right? And with that said, Aries, I see them, I see them juggling. Check this out. I see them juggling the idea... I see them two of, two of coins juggling the idea of communicating eight of wands or waiting the situation out. Nevertheless, there's definitely a sense of rectification that is required in this matter. Some sort of balancing act, right? That is what I'm seeing here. That is the sort of energy. I'm getting this justice sort of energy from this person. Tell us more about this person's energy. Tell us more about this individual's energy towards Aries. What is this individual's energy toward Aries? What is this individual's energy toward Aries? The Ten of Cups. Well, this individual clearly has got a lot of feelings for you. Clearly, this individual, Aries, is probably in love with you. All right? They probably got mad love for you. Hmm. The Eight of Coins. They want to put effort into the situation. They want to turn the situation around. Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Swords. Clearly, you. this is someone you had a breakup with. Someone you had a terrible fallout with. Very tumultuous situation. And they're moving towards you just very slowly here in the Knight of Coins. All right? There is an element of determination. This person is not walking away. Let's just get that straight. This person is not walking away from you. They're just, they're waiting. They're either going to wait, Three of Wands. They're either going to wait or they're actually going to take action towards you. But I'm seeing them in a contemplative energy. All right. They're quite ungrounded, let's just say. They're a bit confused. All right. They're a bit confused. And like I said, I don't see this individual walking away from you. I feel that like this individual is going to either wait. I don't know. Let's see. Tell us more here. They're just moving very slow. I mean, the energy is already coming towards you. It's already motion towards you. Look, we got the Knight of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. All right, they already they want to come towards you. They want to communicate, Aries, but they're holding back as of now. They're holding back. Mm -hmm. The Sun. They still see hope in this. All right, even though there's been a catastrophe in this situation. Interesting. We have the Sun and the Moon, and that is the exact sort of energy that I'm getting. Just real discombobulated energy. So, this person is in between two different worlds. All right, one of quietness, silence, and the other one of illumination, sunlight, clarity, communication, growth, expansion. You are a wish fulfillment to this individual. This individual is most certainly wishing upon a star. Remember when we looked into that ace of coins, the star came out. This is hopeful and wishful energy. This is how somebody's thinking about you, Aries. They're hopeful and wishful about you. Hmm. Well, ladies and gents, <clears throat> I'm going to get some advice. Let's see what's going on here. Any advice for Aries when it comes to mid-month? 
the mid month onto the end of the month, what's going on with Aries? Any advice for them that's going to facilitate them when it comes to matters of love? The Two of Cups, the Justice. Wow. I mean, clearly, you and this individual are not over, Aries. All right, you and this individual are not over. I mean, there's love here. Mutual love. There's mutual love here between you and somebody. There's mutual love, ladies and gents. Could be, deal could be dealing with a Capricorn. We got the Queen of Coins and the Devil Energy. Very interesting. Wow. So, give us some more. What is, I don't know what the advice is. What is the advice? I need some more juice in this. What is the advice for Aries when it comes to this matter of the heart? What is their advice? The Hermit. All right, Aries, you definitely got to go deep within yourself regarding this relationship. All right, I feel that this relationship does have potential, ladies and gents. It does have potential, but you, you got something to think about. You got something to think about. Because look, I also see you holding on to a burden, Aries, when it comes to this relationship. But I don't see you relinquishing that burden. I don't see you necessarily... This may be the conundrum of the re, of the of the situation. It's like you releasing this and you know doing away with it, but you're still in this progress. You're still holding on to this burden. So, guys, the hermit is essentially your advice. Going within yourself and actually scrutinizing this, learning what you can from it, healing from it, making a decision based on on this relationship. What is it that you want? Do you want reconciliation? It really does seem like you want to reconcile with this individual. Six of Wands. This is success. All right, I think you're pretty clear about that, Aries. I feel that deep down, you know damn well that you got love for this individual. And I want you to know that this individual has also got love for you. All right, now I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to be looking into this individual's actions during this time of the month. We saw that they're requiring a dubious, they're going back and forth. Should I communicate? Should I not? I'm going to look into that. I'm going to deconstruct this individual's feelings towards you as well, Aries. All right, I'm going to look into this individual's mind i want to see what kind of future they envision with you as of now all right that's going to be an interesting curious energy i'm going to look at the near future of this situation as well so if you're interested the link to that will be in the description otherwise aries it's a pleasure all right understand that you got someone here that is fond of you someone here that is thinking about you reminiscing and wishing upon a star for you flat out that's the, that's the energy as corny as it sounds anyways i'll see you next time